Pete. We have a scheme to destroy Jenna and her army of creeps. For the past seven years, I've been compiling a supercut of all of Jenna Maroney's worst moments. Security footage, cell phone videos, rehearsals, all her biggest diva freakouts are on this DVD. When we put this online, the crab catchers will see what a fraud Jenna is. Oh, oh. Someone get a PA to feed me baby food or I will drop a D in the green room. Jenna Maroney, you're my slave. What? But the sheik who won me in that poker game was beheaded. No, do you remember in 1994, you made a commercial for Surge Cola. For 100 Surge Points, I got these shades. <laughs> oh, yeah, for 500 Surge Points, I got this leather jacket. I could beat that. For a million points, he got me. Surge, suck it down. Oh, I remember that. My boyfriend was supposed to pick me up after that shoot, so I called him and I was like, OJ, where are you? And he was like, wait, you're alive? Then who did I kill? Jenna, what's wrong? My niece drew a picture of me and I look so fat! Well, I really like your hair today. Thank you, but you don't know what it looks like because of the door! Wow, she finally figured that out. This is Manhattan real estate. There are no rules, like check-in at an Italian sex party. I mean, do you know how long I've been waiting for the lady next door to finally join her husband in hell? Hello, Mrs. Gerstein. Oh, my heart is getting stronger every day. Oh, you ancient bitch. But you've already got a foot in the door. Here's what you're gonna do. Do you remember that horrible roommate you had back in Chicago? You mean you? I know it's my turn to do the dishes, but I'm in character. And if you make me do the dishes, I will kill myself! You drove a lot of guys out of that third bedroom. Jack is hiring a new cast member. If it is a blonde woman, I will kill myself! Oh, don't be so dramatic. That's my thing. And if you take it away from me, I will kill myself, and then you. Okay, Jenna, I need some relationship advice. Well, you've come to the right place. I've been writing a sex column for Cosmo. Cosmo is my 14-year-old neighbor. He doesn't know anything. No, it's not about sex. It's about money. Oh, Liz. Sex, money, power, fire, choking, being dragged behind a speedboat. It's all the same thing. Are you kidding me? Remember when Jenna thought that blonde intern wanted to be an actress? I'm studying acting and singing, and someday I'm going to be just like you. <laughs> I never did find her earlobe. Jenna's crab idiots won't shut up. Why couldn't she have died when that rabid dog bit her? Oh, it wasn't rabid. I just said that so they'd have to put it down, and then I'd be the star of that dog food commercial. I had to walk an extra block to get around your stupid crab catchers. My doctors have been very clear about this, Jenna. If I get moderate exercise, I'm gonna die. And I'm mad at just success, but pretending it's something else. Okay, speaking of me. How many Crab Catchers Fiesta Crab Hats would each of you like to buy at the unbelievable price of $49.95? Please, I've had a crab on my head for free. I'm lying. The claws hold your cigarette while you uncork a brew sky. Uncork a brew sky? Yeah, you know, kazap. Blinky, 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 blinky. Those aren't even the right noises. Everyone knows you hate stuff like this. You're maybe the most high-maintenance bitch in Hollywood. Maybe. Who's more? Who is she? Do you need a sex tape released? Because I got a weird one. It's night vision, and you can see that his buddy is robbing me. OMG, Liz. Look at you and me and our biological clocks. You're going baby crazy, and I keep getting turned on by car accidents. Ron, that was terrible. I'm going to be constructive here. You should kill yourself. You being dead is the best thing that ever happened in this movie. Jenna, I want to Tupac you. Fine, but I have to pee first. No, 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 no. Tupac Shakur, the rapper, he sold 10 times more albums when he was dead than when he was alive. That's what we're going to do with this movie. Die young, become a legend, just like Janice. Or Rusty the Bear from The Magicals. Yes. Now, you just need to stay dead while I sell the movie. Oh, I can play dead. I watched my whole church group get eaten by a bear. Now, Terry, I suspect you know it's illegal for someone to own another human being. Fine, but according to the contest rules, either I collect my prize or her equivalent cash value. Ah, I see. So you'd be just as happy with the money. Terry, is this true? I've done the math, and taking into account Jenna's salary and earning potential, I've calculated that she's worth $800,000. Uh, let's say Jenna was worth that in her prime. That was 10 years ago. <clears throat> she
she has certainly depreciated since then. Jenna is becoming more unemployable by the moment. And thanks to decades of partying, Jenna's internal organs will get you nothing on the black market. She's an emotional train wreck. Daddy, why are you doing this? A seventh grade education, hepatitis D, bullet in jaw, fatwa, credit card debt, wanted by the Yakuza. Jenna Maroney is worth $2,000. Fine. In Arizona, two grand will buy me a castle and a pillowcase full of meth. Make it out to Doomsday Enterprises. Virginia! It's Aunt Jenna! Look, I heard what Liz said about you, and I just have to say that I have known Liz a long, long, long time, and she's totally shady. Liz, she. <laughs> Oh my God, you are hilarious. Do you act? Because we should do a movie together where we're on a road trip just being sluts. High five. Huh? Oh no, someone's gonna get more attention than me. Frank, Frank, Frank. What is this? Future husband? Who did you put in your address book as future husband? I have absolutely no idea. Well, whenever I find something weird in my cell phone, I can usually trace it back to the last time I was drunk. Oh my God, the dentist's office. Oh, your dentist gets drunk with you too? No, it's me. As great as I am at this, I'm not really necessary. Hmm, the last time I said that, I was in a three-way with two of the Backstreet Boys. No, no. You missed a call. Was it my doctor slash trainer? No, it was Dennis. Dennis Duffy. Calling me? Why? Well, Jenna, Dennis has been going around calling all the women he's ever had sex with. Did you speak to him? Yes. Did you pretend to be me? I did. Did you do an impression of, of me? Of course. Was it British? It was. Oh my God. Liz, first of all, the reason I have some English inflection in my speech is because I lost my virginity to the My Fair Lady soundtrack. And I definitely would have gone to my reunion, but the boat I was educated on sank. I want to thank the brilliant Kevin Grisham, the amazing John Stamos, the incomparable Judge Judy Scheinlin. What are you doing? They called my name. See you later, suckers. Meet me. Well, my armpit rash is back. Oh my God, Jack, what are you doing in wardrobe? The latest researchers in our audience doesn't like green. Oh, that's too bad. I like green. The research doesn't lie, Jenna, unless us know what we're thinking. What's too boring, what's too gay, what's too old? What's too old? That's a very good question. How old are you? I'm 29. What year were you born? 1977. When did you graduate high school? 94. When did you turn 40? 2017. Junior high crush? Kirk Cameron. Prom theme? Motown Philly, boys to men. What movie did you lose your virginity at? Arachnophobia. Theater or drive-in? What's a drive-in? Of course. I don't know why I bothered to ask. I can tell just from your physical appearance that you're obviously 29. So Liz, the writers can't take a car service at night anymore. I've crunched the numbers, and it's cheaper for us to just replace anyone who gets murdered. Amazing news, Liz. I made the People magazine crossword. One across, five letters, Jenna Maroney's first name. Wow, congratulations. Because of America's Kids Got Singing, I am blowing up. When you Google Jenna Maroney now, I come up first, not the Jenna Maroney who electrocuted all those horses. Jenna, that was you. You will never believe what just happened to me. I was throwing a tantrum in the makeup room. Where is my color? I will have you pre-inspired. I will tell the other gays your real ages. I'll be ignored by my friends. No one paid any attention to Stop ignoring me! This is an actor announcement. The show's over, so you're not technically an actor anymore. How dare you, you rotting pear. I will stop being an actress when the Earth stops spinning on Kabbalah Monster's fingernail. The only thing that's stopping is this show. It's beneath me. And from now on, Jenna Maroney only plays dramatic roles. Goodbye forever, you factory reject dildos. <laughs>